Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. I'm Julia. And it, we need to be contained. Especially spe contained. Especially contained. Guys, now that we know what SCP means, we can't get enough. What does it actually mean? Special, Special containment, containment protocol. protocol. Oh, see, I just don't pay attention. Special containment piece. Special containment piece. Uh, it also stands for super cool pals. We're super cool pals here on Drawfee, and Steam Raider says, hi, hi. SCP Hello. Wiki Roulette. Please, please, I've been asking for more than a year and a half. Our SCP challenge that we did was not random enough for Steam Raider. Steam Raider hated it. So we're doing- we're Protesting do the channel. We're doing it again, but random. So we're gonna use the random button that doesn't always work, but we're gonna try it. But sometimes it works. Sometimes it works, and those random SCPs escape into our eyes that we read their descriptions of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good job, Nathan. Are you ready for your SCP? I am ready. <laughs> have you been replaced by an SCP? What's going on? No, when when have I ever done a good intro? Fair point, <laughs> okay. Jacob. Yes, I have for you. Can, you. can you random one for me? I have for you an SCP name. Yay. I've got it right here, and I think it's gonna be one you really like. This is a SCP-999. Ooh. A nice number. That's a nice number. So SCP-999 appears to be a large amorphous gelatinous mass of translucent orange slime. Hell yes, dude, I love a, a mass. With a consistency similar to peanut butter. Aww. So imagine a big peanut butter blob. A big peanut, a big translucent orange peanut butter blob. I could really go for some peanut butter now. A big yeah. blob of it? Hell but it's, yeah. it's translucent, right? Yeah. Okay. The so. uh, the subject's size and shape can consistently change. Okay. Though most of the time, its form is the size of a large beanbag chair. Nice. Which you already kind of got going. I here. got. I got it, guys. I got this one. I'm done. Um, this is it. Other than a thin, <laughs> transparent membrane surrounding the orange mass, it appears to have no organs to speak of. Okay. Now here's where it gets fun. Okay. The subject's temperament is best described as playful and dog-like. Aww. When approached, SCP-999 will react with overwhelming elation, slithering over to the nearest person and leaping upon them, hugging them with a pair of pseudopods while nuzzling the person's face with a third pseudopod. What are pseudopods? It's like a fake limb. He's coming to give you a hug. Uh, also important is that while it does this, it emits high-pitched gurgling and cooing noises. Oh my god. <laughs> And it nuzzles the face with a with a third one. With a one. third one. It's got one ex specifically for face nuzzles. Two for hugs, one for face nuzzles. Oh my god, I love this friend. And the it's... surface of SCP-999 emits a pleasing odor that differs with whomever it's interacting with. Oh. Recorded scents include chocolate, fresh laundry, bacon, roses, and Play-Doh. I like this friend. This is just a friendly, just it's a, fr a friendly slime. A friendly peanut butter blob that smells like whatever you want it to. I like it. Its favorite activity is tickle wrestling. Oh, <laughs> okay. This is one of the only ones I've seen where it says at the top that it's allowed to freely roam the facility if it's it wants to. Friendly, it's just a friendly guy. So if you work at the SCPs, you know this thing could just come around the corner at any time, uh, gurgling and screaming, and uh, tackle you and get you in a tickle wrestle. So I know it doesn't have a mouth, but I'm gonna give it one. Well, I guess it can. Yeah, it can have whatever it wants. So it I can have it, any shape it wants to. So yeah, I think it's just gonna be like, yeah. Yeah. There he is. Um, it also has a special interest in people who are unhappy or hurt in any way. Aww. It wants to make them feel better. So I thought all SCPs were violent. Is this one not violent? This no, one's this not one's violent. Just, this one just wants to play. It actually cures depression oh. and he with those it interacts with. And he smells nice. And he smells nice. Let's get some nice, some nice smells wafting off of him. And uh, it also loves all animals and doesn't eat any meat and will risk its life to save others. This is just a My Hero character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. My hero is SCP-999. There it is. There's our friend. I don't know if you want to include this, Nathan, mm -hmm. but um, on one occasion it leapt in front of a person to take a bullet. Oh. <laughs> so maybe that bullet's still in there. I don't know. Okay, so we got one bullet just sort of floating. As a reminder of 999's noble sacrifice. Also, its diet consists entirely of candy and sweets. All right, let's get some candy in there too. It's a big orange floating candy blob that loves you. There's a little candy bar. I feel like despite all the dangers of like working in the SCP facility, if I knew I got to interact with this guy, I think it might be worth it. What a sweet friend. This is what keeps me coming back to the job does every day. It, does he have a, a nickname? No nicknames. No nicknames. Just, just 999. This one he didn't unwrap. I'd probably call him nines. Oh nines. <laughs> Isn't 999 what you dial in England for the, the cops and like help? 
for emergency help. Don't you mean the water cops call in, in England? Bobbies. The Bobbies. The Bobbies. 999, we got to call the Bobbies. I would call love if I bobbies. called 999 and this guy showed up instead. I'd be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I am bleeding a lot, but. No, this is fine, though. But he smells so good. Oh, he's so cute. Can we get a little Bobby hat on him, Nathan? What are those? They're like the tall, like, bell-shaped hats with a little badge on it. Like these? Yeah. The little badge. There's a little badge and he's gonna come save you. Is this what it looks like? I think they have a brim all the way around, like a bell shape. Like a full bell shape. Like a full bell shape. Yeah. How did you even get here? Did you drive a little car? Who let you drive a little car? Oh, you just smell so good. You smell so good. I don't even care that all my TVs were stolen. I didn't need that many it TVs like, anyway. It looks like he's just Hi. wearing like a like a hard hat. He could do that too, Nathan. I don't care what hat he wears. As long as he's wearing a hat and he's at every job. Okay. That's all I care about. Well, this is this is my new best friend, Bobby Nines. Bobby Nines in the house. Great. I love him. He's adorable. Is there a pic? Uh, you can try to Google one and see. Well, there's lots of fan art. I don't know if we'll be able to use any of it, but it all looks it all looks like what I drew, but they gave it eyes. Yeah, they gave it eyes, which it didn't say anything I didn't, about that. I didn't give it mine eyes. So uh, all I didn't this, give it mine eyes. All this fan art is bullshit and uh, non-canon. Nathan's is the only canon art. It's Jacob's turn. Jacob's turn. Julia, you got a, got a random SCP for me? I do have a random SCP for you. Let the dice roll and you, ooh, sorry, my boy. You are being given SCP-673. 673. Yeah, it's a mass of organic tissues. A mass of organic connected tissues. Connected in what looks to be a totally random assembly. These, so it's totally random it has, is what you're telling me. It has like a heart, a digestive tract, blood vessels, brain matter, but uh, many of the uh, tissue structures are not identifiable by composition or purpose. It does seem to like latch on to buildings. Is this all the organs that aren't in SCP-999? Yeah, they're it's all just, here. It's like it has no discernible organs. Here's all the organs. It seems they're to all be, smooshed together. It seems to uh, attach to buildings. It says here that testing has shown that tissue integration appears to progress along loose guidelines in regards to inorganic structures. Pipes become veins and tracks, beams become bone-like supports, doorways become valves, etc. So it becomes? It becomes the building. It becomes the building. It becomes the building. It, yeah. It likes the so, building, okay. but it also is the building. I have building. to erase everything I've done so far. <laughs> it will grow into surrounding structures using what appear to be tendons or thin bone-like structures to penetrate and spread over walls, floors, and ceilings. So how do you contain this if it just becomes the whole building? Yeah, it's going to become the SCP building, what's isn't it? The, what's the containment protocol for this nightmare flesh building Let's monster? See. No living tissue is to enter the main containment area while SCP-673 is present. So how'd they get it in there if nothing... I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't work for SCP. Hey, SCP, how you get it in there? How'd you even get it in there? How'd you even get it in there? Oh, look at this flesh building. Yeah, I think it's just gonna have to be like a lumpy, it's like always, a lumpy flesh building. It's always embarrassing when people ask me where I work, and I have to be like, oh, I work in the flesh building. You know that flesh building on Forty Third? It's the it's the, that the one that keeps growing into adjacent buildings. The one that just the one that's just a bunch of flesh and organs and bones. Okay, so let's get like you know, sort of like an intestine like wrapping around here. Sometimes I'll have a window office, and then the next day it's just wrapped up in some in some intestines. Next day I'm working in a heart in a heart. Valve. What can you do? You know, it's just uh, it's just the grind. It's just the grind. Uh, rise and grind, baby. You'd think rent would be cheaper in a in a flesh building, but no, it's still it's still Manhattan. So. Well, because there's also the possibility that you might get more room. That's you true. Know? Yeah. You know, the flesh might grow out and give you like a little, little there's office. There's like a there's like heart. There's like a heart. Julia said heart, brain, stuff like that. Stuff like stuff that. like that. Stuff like that. Oh Maybe my a lung in there. You just wanted to uh, draw some real gross blobs of flesh, right? I didn't want to do any of this. Yeah, I didn't want to do any of this. Thanks for giving me a nice, a nice cute one. Yeah, you nice, got an simple. adorable peanut butter slime that smells good, and Listen, I got. I can't fight the randomize button. I got this. This. Got I got this. this. You got this. It's fine. It's Is fine. it? You say it's, it's fine, fine, but you're not the one who has to do it. That's true. Uh, okay, so like drips. So we're gonna get like some intestines here, because I know those kind of curve around like this. Oh yeah. yeah, dude. That's where all the that's where all the poop lives. Before, that's where all the poop lives in here. It comes out. Yeah, and those are like wrinkly. You don't want to be on the intestines floor, let me tell you. No, it's not a good spot at all, because you will get pooped out of the building. 
That's where um, you go after you get fired. They say you're fired, and then you go you go down the poop chute of the building. And you get pooped out onto the street. I'm gonna get like a little. Where's the building's butt? Hey, the butt's over here. Where's the building's butt? The butt's over here. Where's the building's I mean, the, butt? The butt could be anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say it's over here because it's kind of like the intestines <laughs> go. Yeah, they come in. They go that all the way, way down, and then they kind of like suck in right here sure. into the butt, and mm -hmm. then you know you just kind of get like. This is just the inside out organ building. You just kind of get like pooped out. So like, here's a guy. And he's like, oh. <laughs> oh it's just no. the grind. <laughs> That's what he says as he's getting pooped out. He's like, just the grind. Uh, Rise and grind. Rise and grind. It's a living. It's a I living. Guess, I guess I gotta be out here now. I've been fired. If that's how big the guy is, it's, this isn't even that big of a building. It's like three stories, it's, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, and it's, it's growing into like this one over here also, which was until recently just a normal building. I see. But yeah. it won't be for long. It's like a email from your super being like, hey, uh, we've gotten some complaints that um, people don't like that the building is slowly becoming a fleshy mass. Just want you to see, uh, take a look at the lease you signed. The landlord is not responsible for any flesh. For any unwanted flesh. Uh, you should have read the frying print. The listen, frying print. Listen, I told you that you should get flesh insurance, and that's on you. They laughed at me <laughs> when I said they should get flesh insurance. Brain. Brain? Yeah. Get a brain in there. Are you trying to tell your brain to do something? Or are you telling no, yourself just, you have to draw a brain? I have to draw a brain. Ah. Here's like the like the medulla. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of going to be over here. Because I don't think the building knows like where organs should go. Right. To kind of maximize their protection. Yeah. It seems like a bad plan. Couldn't you just like stab this thing a bunch and all the organs would fail? Yeah, it's all, it's exposed like everywhere. This is the brain, brain drips. What when, your brain do. What your brain do when it's, when it's out on the side of your your head. Yeah. I hate this. I hate oh. that you gave me this. <laughs> I hate that I'm doing it. I didn't do anything. The random button did it. This oh, man you drew, it, you just drew a poop with a face. Well, that's what he has become now. Yeah. I right. wanted him to come out with like a YouTube channel called My Life as a Poo. Just his daily, you know, challenges as a poo. Yeah, it's kind of, uh, <laughs> you know, people don't really think about it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's hard being mar a poo. Marginalized group of yeah. uh, poo people. No one wants to hang out with you because uh, you smell. SCP-999 <laughs> does, though. SCP-999 S will be your friend. SCP-999 will be your friend, even if you get pooped out by SCP-673. Yeah. It just needs an eye. Man. Just one, one whole eye. I remember in this neighborhood before the SCP came. It was so much cooler back then. Now everything's covered in flesh. Everything's covered in flesh, and like, the communities that were here, like me, have all been pooped out. Have all been pooped out of its building anus. Now it's just flesh and Starbucks. It's just flesh and Starbucks. Here's a Starbucks over here. Yeah. Oh, flesh and Starbucks. It, it for some reason, won't, it won't touch the Starbucks. It will not. It knows that it's too powerful. Well, it wants to support local. You know, support local businesses. Wait, it wants to support local businesses by not by devouring them. I see. It doesn't fully understand what support. No. Yeah, means. no. It thinks that you know, if it gets involved, then it'll be supported. This is great. You made me do this. I did. And now it's done. Here it is. And yep. I, I have to live with the consequences. Yeah. You can look it up. There is a picture for it. <laughs> you can. You can me. <laughs> You kidding me right now? Just a little flesh lumpy. That's just a blob of nothing on the side of a building. That's not a whole building at all. I just It's coming out of gutter. I didn't have to do any of this. No, you didn't. I could have just drawn a lump on a building. Yep. I like yours, though. Yours has some character. Yours has some personality. I do like that you gave yours an eye. I wish I'd given mine an eye. Well, That's Nathan. Fine. You live and you learn. You live and you learn, and then you draw a flesh building. Julia, do you want to go? Yep. Okay. Hit me with that random. Oh, boy. I don't know. I don't know how you're gonna draw this, but best of luck to you. Good, great, excited. Your, your SCP is SCP-4004, object class Thaumiel. SCP-4004 is a device constructed by the American Secure Containment Initiative to serve the interests of the United States of America. SCP-4004 consists of a variety of mechanical, electronic, biological, and thaumaturgic mechanisms that connect and regulate uh, roughly 250 anomalous objects acquired by the ASCI <laughs> over the course of several centuries. No full schematic for SCP-4004 exists. Until now, baby. Julia's about to draw us one. And most detailed information regarding... <laughs> I wish you could see the face Julia's making. <laughs> 
Julia, I think you could draw any number of the 250 anomalous objects acquired uh, that are mechanical, electronic, biological, anthomaturgic, any of those mechanisms. What do they do? They contain? SCP-4004 directly influences consensus reality by way of new sphere alteration. Specifically, SCP-4004 <laughs> alters the ease with which particular ideas regarding the United States and its activities can be recalled, expressed, or contextualized. So a memory changes. No transmission of information is involved in this process, thus no conventional form of shielding blocks the effect. So it can determine what people think about the United States, basically, is what you're telling me. It's a big mass of objects and biological parts, and it controls what people think about the USA? Is that what you're telling me, Nathan? What is is that what you're telling us? Yeah, uh, it has some examples. Ideas such as the United States is destined to expand into North America, any American can prosper if they work hard, the United States won the space race, and the United States champions human rights are much more widely accepted than they would be otherwise. Likewise, statements like the United States commits war crimes, the United States mistreats foreign nationals, and the United States should have open borders are far less popular than they would be otherwise. I see. So this is why people like hold on to these stubbornly held beliefs. Yeah, it's not it's not because people are are stupid, it's because of this roughly 250 anomalous mechanisms. I should mention it is contained 25 meters beneath Arlington National Cemetery. Oh, so it's underground. It's underground. You could have just drawn a cemetery and like it's under there. Well, I have I to like draw this, something. I like this floating uh, eye pyramid. There's yeah, we've got a floating eye pyramid, which is, that is a thing. Yeah, that's, that's on the money. That's on the money. It's that's, an object. That's how they get you. That's an anomalous object. I like I this believe... angle. Are we like below it? Like yeah. it's, a, it's flying overhead. I can't believe you just gave me everything. You told me, you looked You looked me straight in the eye and you said, Julia, draw everything. Not everything, I said, just 250 I, I said, anomalous objects. I said objects. anything. I told you I didn't know how you were going to do it. This is cool, though. I figured it it was open-ended enough. You know, this is what happens when you pick random. Sometimes you just, you get 250 anomalous mechanisms. And sometimes your friend just stabs you in the back and gives you the hardest thing. Listen, Julia, after what you gave me, which was just a bunch of organs in any configuration, I think you've deserved this. You brought this on yourself. Well, the cool thing about this guy is uh, it can make us think, remember it as whatever. So you could just have it saying, Julia did a good drawing. And then we'll all believe it. And then it. we'll all believe it. We'll all stubbornly like cling to that belief that Julia did yeah. gave a good suggestion. This is cool. It this has is a cool. bunch of <laughs> objects, right? It's a bunch of objects, a bunch of um, <laughs> mechanical, electronic, biological, and thaumaturgic mechanisms. Thaumaturgic, what does that That's mean? That's magic. That's magic. It's a, it's a of combination of mechanical, electric, biological, and magic mechanisms. Okay. And it's underground, underneath the Arlington National Cemetery. It alters people's consensus. Okay. It sure does. On, on narratives and historical context. I like the idea that someone's like sitting there and they're like, you know, I don't think America's actually that good. And like as they're saying it, this thing passes overhead. Yeah. And they're like, I think it's great. I think it's the best. I'm like, oh wait. What was that? That's, hmm. That's a silly thing I was that thinking. That was a silly, dumb thing I was thinking. Doesn't make any sense. I should never criticize anything ever again. <laughs> Off I go. Is that a butt Is that plug? A butt plug? Wasn't. <laughs> we both really at the wasn't. same time. <laughs> what else could it be? It was going to be a vase. <laughs> 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 Shit. <laughs> I thought you were doing my uh, Eva. Um, no. Angel again. It drops butt plugs on everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, it's got the plant in there. Good. There we go. Now it's a vase. Yeah, that's a biological mechanism. Very good. Yeah. Okay. This, this is a. This does look like it could be an Eva angel. Yeah, yeah it definitely that's does. Kind of what I'm thinking a little bit. Get that in there. Now it looks like a butt plug rocket. <sighs> Jacob. Burning through the sky. It just—it's a lot of objects, right? Two hundred and fifty. So yeah, you don't have to draw all of them. It's, it's, it's got the little the little squiggle, so I think it's roughly two hundred fifty, give or take. Yeah, okay. So that could be no like, one's you know, no one's four. bothered to count all of them. It could be more like four or five. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it just wants you to think it's got two hundred and fifty. He's like, nope, that's uh, it's, that's I, it. I have two hundred and fifty, and it's like it looks like you got three. It's like, nope, I, you, I, you mean 250 when you say that. Look, there's no schematic, so your guess is as good as mine. 
So magic. What was? I'm sorry. There's so many words that were said at me. Most magic. Of them are the same. It's electric shit, biologic shit, mechanical magic shit. Magic shit. Okay. I just want like a toaster. You want a toaster. Yeah, you do want a toaster. That's just in case you want toast. Yeah, even uh, conglomerations of of 250 anomalous objects need toast sometimes. It's the only thing you cook twice. Not the only thing you cook twice, but I like that it's like you bake the bread and then you're like- Not enough. Not enough. Let's get it in there. I bake the bread, then I toast the bread. Then I toast the bread. Okay, so we got we got that. Nathan, how do you feel about a twice-baked potato? Ooh, I do like that, yeah. Potato. You bake the potato, then you take it out and mix it all up with some goodies, and then you put it back in the bake potato. Bake that shit another time. Bake it one whole another time. Round two, baby. Mm. Let's get a piece of toast or in there. Double... Why don't you just start naming objects at me? Uh, objects? Yeah, how just How about like a stuff? tennis racket? Tennis racket. Get that in there. It is under a cemetery, so maybe a tombstone or a, or a coffin. Okay, I can do that. I want to make this my desktop wallpaper. This is like stylish <laughs> as hell. Just, yeah, see, here's the thing, Julia. I, I wouldn't have trusted anyone else to, to just draw a bunch of objects and still make it visually interesting. <laughs> yeah, but you you did it. You did it. If I got this, it would have been a, a disaster. I mean, you saw what I did. This you all angle, saw what I did. Yeah, the dynamic angle you've got going. Yeah, super cool. This is very good. Often. I don't even know what's going on on the left there. You just drew sort of a. a, I, a, a I, I've a yet to address line, it. Line, line, and. What about a Nintendo Switch? Oh yeah, Nintendo Switch uh, with Smash okay. Bros. Okay, that's gonna be peeking out a little bit here. Okay, Nintendo Switch with uh, with the Smash Bros Ultimate on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold the, on, the, let me know, get all those details in. He got the deluxe version with uh, all the character packs um, included. They just auto download whenever the DLC becomes available. Yeah, yeah. There yeah, you go. Yeah. There's a little. There's a little Smash logo. Oh, there you go. Okay. Um. What else? What else do people like? Toilet paper. Maybe. Maybe just like a D20. Just a D20 dice. Okay. Like a novelty. Just a big ass D20. Yeah. Just a big D20. Perfect. Okay. Toilet paper, right? Toilet yeah, paper. Yeah. So people. it can wipe its butt. Yeah. yeah, for when it encounters the uh, the organ building. Yeah, it can wipe the organ building's butt when it flies by. Ooh, maybe just yeah. uh, maybe just a bowl of spaghetti. Bowl of a spaghetti. Bowl of spaghetti. Okay. Chef Boy R D. Let me get rid of that. There. <laughs> Welcome to Drop Feet, where we list objects. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's interesting to think of the things that you guys are listing. A sword. A sword. You gotta have a sword. This gotta is stuff that's sword. been collected over centuries. Yeah, an old right. sword. A bowl of spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. That's yeah, what the Eminem sure song is Make about. sure it's mom spaghetti. That's a football. That's a football. Football. Okay, I'm gonna convert this ball into a bowl of spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. Mom mom spaghetti. Mom right. spaghetti. Spaghetti's not easy to draw. Yeah. Make sure you get a meatball in there. I'm getting some meatballs. Julia, this is good. Yeah? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good. I think it's good. I think, well, once you get an old sword, I think it'll be good. Yeah, one old sword, okay. and then- And then I'll finish what's on the left there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, a sword. An old sword. An old sword. A rusty sword. A rusty sword with some you you can, know, nicks you, in it. You could feed to okay. a, an Octorok, and then it'll it'll come out with a, a fresh new sword. That's yeah. A, that's a Breath of the Wild reference. We already got our, our Nintendo Switch in there, but just in case. Just that's in a, case. That's a ref of the wild. That's a ref of the wild. Thank okay. you. You know what? I want this to be facing. Uh, an old sword. An old sword. Just, just a, yeah, not a new sword. That. Not please, a new sword. Please. Yeah, please. Okay. I want to be absolutely clear about this. Okay. Old sword. Get that. Oh, uh, is it like a buster sword? We'll get. It's got a, that's a thick. That's yeah. a thick. That's a that's thick, thick part. God, I got to color this, huh? I gotta color all these objects. At some point, I mean, you could, you could do some sort of a uh, stylistic thing where like they're all they're all monochrome. Like this yeah. thing is emitting some colored light. Okay. This is a thick sword, but make sure it's an old sword. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There we go. Oh, it's just got a chunk missing. Oh, that's a big chunk. I don't know if I want it to be this old. <laughs> <laughs> I said I wanted an old sword, not a super old sword. I didn't request an ancient sword. <laughs> okay. Well, a couple centuries worth of wear and tear on that guy. We got some yeah. some moss growing on it. It's more of a bludgeon at this around. point, but it was yeah. it was once a sword. It was once a sword. Okay, and now to finish what's on the left there was yeah. that was that all the objects that we had? That's that's, yeah, that's, that's a, I think that's a yeah, good number. That's of that's plenty of objects for for now. If people have their own ideas for objects, they can feel free to uh, to draw their own. They can feel free to keep those ideas right in their heads where they belong. <laughs>
Don't tell them to us. Okay. What's happening this here? This is the spider sense. Oh, it's will. Oh, is it an American flag? It's, it's consensus gonna be an American power. Flag. Oh, cool. Oh, but it's like backwards. It's a, it's a big, a big flag, a big reverse flag. Just pretend that I've drawn all the appropriate amount of stars here. It can make you think there are the appropriate amount of stars on there. Yeah, regardless absolutely. Of, yeah. Of this. I want to do. What's happening? I want to do with this. So now it's it's got sort of a grid pattern happening. Julia's doing something that's gonna make it look cool. Okay. Dun 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 All I can think of is the Ava theme song. It's the Ava theme song for when the angels appear. Oh, I see you're chunking it out. Yeah, so it's coming out like a Wi-Fi signal. Yeah, like a wave. Oh my god. Like waves of waves of America. Amber waves of grain. Amber waves of grain, and it's just like Amber waves of brain. Actually, I think I'll keep it to one side. Do you think there's anybody out there whose name is Amber Waves? Probably. This is America we're talking about. There, there's someone there out there be, whose right? name is Amber, and they probably do wave from time to time. Sure, Nathan, but do you think there's someone out there with the last name Waves whose name is Amber? I don't know. If you know that person, comment. Tell me. I, I must know. We must know. I simply must know. We simply must. Is this it? Yeah. This is the SCP we've been dreaming of. Yeah, wanna, you did some, some bloboids something out. very cool out of something. See, this is very why, I, Julia. This is why I'm glad I gave you this one because you you managed to take something that makes no sense and you made it cool. Yeah, I would not have known even where to begin with this. This is this is some scene out of some trippy ass anime. Yeah, I love it. Thank you. This is this is my SCP. It's just this dripping Illuminati triangle. Yeah. I guess that's it, huh? The only image that we've got in this article is it's just a, a picture of Arlington National Cemetery. Oh, is it? <laughs> uh, there's no actual- What number is it? 4004. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything, mm, huh? Nothing. nothing. I guess it's kind of a- uh, Again, no schematics Amorphous, exist. yeah. But, yeah. Uh, we I'd, will show you a picture of Arlington National Cemetery. Yeah, we'll, put, we'll nice. put up a picture of Arlington it's, National Cemetery. I mean, cemetery. it's not nice, but- well, I mean, it's a nice cemetery. It's a nice cemetery, yeah. Yeah. As far as cemeteries go. If, if you gotta be dead, why not be in a nice cemetery? Yeah, why not? We did another SCP. People seem to really like the last one, so I hope they like this one too. You better. And uh, <laughs> boy, you you better. I'm watching. No, it's okay. Well, the consensus will be that they like it because now we've got four four zero zero four on our side. Yeah, the That's opinion true. of Droppy has never been higher in this yeah. country. <laughs> uh, maybe that's how we're getting all those subs. And that must be the way, right? Yeah. Um, well, thank you to everyone who's been subbing. If, if you're if you're one of our newer subs, uh, welcome. Thank you so much for, for hopping on in uh, as we make our approach to that that million sub mark. The golden land. The golden the land of the golden Where play the, button. The rivers run with subs. Yeah, we're real excited to be making the content for you. And if you like it and you want even more and you're willing to pay a little bit, hey, we've got something for you too. It's called Dropout. It is our paid subscription service. Uh, you can sign up, there's a link in the description, and you'll get access to even more Droffy content. We've got a show on there called Cartoon Hell that's uh, like Droffy, but there's an animated component. Jacob and Julia are on there, as well as Caldwell, and a bunch of our other friends doing fun uh, voices and characters. And every episode ends with a little animation based on what we drew, which is uh, a fun a fun thing. And there's comics on there, there's a Ladies Book Club comic, and of course, you gotta watch Fantasy High. They've been posting the full episodes to the College Humor YouTube. I recommend you check those out. And if you're like me and you can't get enough, you're gonna wanna sign up for Dropout. Get in uh, there. Get, get in, in there. there. It is the best way to support Droffy directly, if that's something you're interested in. Leave a suggestion of what you'd like to see us draw next time. The consensus is we're sorry. We're sorry. Sorry.